and we get the Olaf here coming through. So Sniper, it's another aggressive pick here that has been gaining some steam. If you're a T1 fan, you saw the pentakill the other day. Mid cryo uh, this entire time. Yeah, Spika is behind them now. Tomo very low. River, though, knows something could be going on here. Spika gonna look, and they might get the bad news that Jarvan is here as well. Can they get this kill fast? Tomo getting incredibly low, but he hasn't fallen down just yet. He flashes forward. Ooh. Zven grabs first blood, but they traded one back. Isles is gone, and Quid is TP'd in here. They're trying to get Spika and Zven out. Will they be able to do it? Jensen has not moved from mid lane to try to help him out, so Spika is definitely gonna die. Can they turn one around onto Quid? Not quite. The flash forward, oh. though, from Zven claims one. One, and now Jensen has arrived. The barrier buying time. He gets a double. Zven coming up huge for the team. Jensen going to try to chase down Ayla, who has no sums, but should be able to get escorted out here by Tomo. I feel like Jensen could have rotated way faster in that fight. Could have maybe kept Zven alive. Uh, yeah. And they're getting turret damage there. Yeah, this is looking pretty unplayable, but Spika maybe gonna get chased down here by Sniper. No he has no flash. He tries to queue over the wall, but there's no minions there. The heals are coming through, but it's not nearly enough. Olaf runs down an easy one. Licorice, though, on to Ayla. Potentially, he's I think he can just stay. To, yeah. Tomo's oom and River's low. I think this would be a hard dive if he has a W, but it does feel that they can yeah, just kill the tower. They'll just be able to get turret and... Oh, they got first tower. Wow, Oof. Licorice did a good job delaying them on that. Get that bonus gold. It was increased. Uh, also worth noting, Isles just got his level six. Senna, because you can very quickly just turn into food for that Jarvan over and over and over. Senna is a really squishy champion. Uh, they are going to be able to grab this dragon. Doesn't look like they're really able to trade for anything just yet. Uh, maybe move in, get a little bit of visions. Vents trying to push in mid. And Jensen just going to be heading back to base as he's working towards that Triforce. The Ruby Crystal. So. This guy is going to be paper to that Oof. here, and you can see Licorice is just getting crushed. Going to have to base really after one wave of laning against Quid. I mean, honestly, if Hunter Thieves get away with taking this Herald and having Sniper push out bottom mm -hmm. and pressure on top side, this is a giant map win we just saw from Hundred Thieves where Dignitas playing very, very defensively. Breaker done. Once you get your Sterics, then you get really tanky. You can just charge forward with the multiple engage option. Oh, oh but three. charging forward, but is this the fight he wants? Bullet time comes in over the top. He can't quite finish off Isles. Isles flashed out to safety, and Tomo's going to have to cleanse and run. Will one more bandage toss come through? No, it is just going to be the one kill on the sniper. This Herald mid, and they were able to get uh, top side turret off of this as well. And they got Isles heal and flash out of that play. Oh, look in. Spika tries to flash out, but he just gets pulled back in. Mom roars to life. As you can see, the, uh, all that comes through from Licorice and Quid gonna go in, scoops him back, but Quid's in the middle of everyone. Jensen's gonna help to take him down. Ayla tried to bail him out, but now he might just die. Licorice goes over the wall to safety. It's Tomo pushing Jensen back with that BT, but Sven is here as well. Sniper arrives back from base. And he's going to be able to push them back. Very scrappy fight back and forth here. Yeah, 100 Thieves trying to do a really quick play there, but couldn't get Looks back out. in trouble. Woo! That is risky stuff from him. Like a massive difference maker in a lot of these team fights. Separating oh, back out. Live. 100 Thieves are corralling them. They're coming from all sides. Here comes Ayla flashing forward with the engage. The bullet time has to be canceled. And Sven got in on Tomo and pushes him back. And the kills are coming in, but they're all coming in for Dignitas. It's a three for zero and the dragon. It's huge. Again, this set of shields and heals over the top. Can't run over the team. Dignitas are going to steamroll now. Back-to-back -back team fight wins. They just got Dragon plus the tower here. So, you know, the true damage burn is not going to be hurting as much as you would hope. I still say the... Oh, is they're going to go forward? Oh. There's the Curse of the Sad Mummy. But the bullet time coming out over the top to try to cover. It's not going to find enough. Another bandage toss forward there from Spika as Licorice arrives. And he goes all out on to Ayla. The Magnet Storm is going to do nothing. They get the kills. Licorice and Spika running. Quid and Sniper have arrived. The root is there, and it is going to force the Ragnarok. So now there's no chance really at a contest. Yep. After the last fight, Dig had taken over Vision leading into the river. So really nice stuff here from Spika sitting on that control ward, waiting for someone to come by so he can lay their trap, snap it shut, and now they're rewarded with another objective. Dignitas showing you how to snowball. Yeah, and this is kind of the perfect spot that they want to be in. Amping up, you're getting more healing, shielding power from each one of these items. You're getting more AP that's also amping it up even further. Can definitely be frustrating. It's one of those champions where you've got to be on point with your engage. You can see the mortal reminder was grabbed by Tomo, which I do think is intelligent in this situation. As Spika going to go for a ride there, follows River through with the bandage sauce, but 
will be disengaging. With the Baron, I think they should be able to get multiple uh, points of pressure here to be effective. Pretty easy for Licorice and Sven to finish up on bottom tower, but they get engaged mid. Yeah, they're going in. There's the Curse of the Satin Mummy coming through. River's down already. They're engaging on Ayla. Ayla's going to try to turn this around on Jensen. Jensen getting incredibly low, but the Senna healing is just too much. We're Sniper going in. Nice sidestep, and he flaps oh. the safety. Insult to injury. They can't get him. Quid did take down the tier two top, though, and was pushing on that inhibitor tower. I'm going to look for more Senna spam ping. Yeah. I mean, the summoner heal plus the cues from Isles here. Jensen is just standing there in front of them. Sniper ghosts at him to try and go take him down, but you can see how difficult it is. And then during that exchange, wasn't just the, the, the combat and the kills, two towers taken. So this gold lead absolutely ballooning out of control. Yeah, Digger in such a good spot. And another thing was obviously quit, right? Pushing down onto potentially getting the inhib. You could see why 100 Thieves might have wanted to posture and really delay. We'll get Dragon number three here with the Ren. Can 100 Thieves find anything during the split time? It doesn't look like it. The, I think the best hope would be to clear out that control ward on Baron. Because with that thing standing, there's no hope of you like getting a face check for Dig. Oh, here we go. Dignitas gonna go in. Curse the Sad Mummy up too. Donning Shadow over the top, and the fight is already over. Hundred thieves are running, but Dignitas is hungry, and they're looking to hunt him down. Sniper charging in the middle, but just gives another kill over to Dignitas. It's pings in the base. The minions are already there, and Dignitas wants to close this one out. Really nice setup from Dig. Again, Sniper was waiting so long for that flank. That's a lot of experience and kind of minion catching that he just wasn't getting. And again, forcing 100 Thieves into making a tough choice of we need to go for a fight now because otherwise the game's going to be over anyway. Really, really good punishes throughout this game by Dignitas. Forward. He's like, great, we've already won basically the whole game here. We're back to live at 100 Thieves. Oh. It's time to flip. They do have a zero. It's they getting rush, low, they but Licorice finish. is in here. They got to finish, and then they got to get out. They have finished it, but can they escape now? As Licorice has caught Ayla on the side. Sven has arrived as well. River's going to jump in, but just to try to run away. Speaking in the midst of everyone on the other side, Jensen's going to be knocking down Sniper. He'll be the first to fall. River has got nowhere to go, and you have to think that Jarvan's going to be going down next. Can they get even more, though, is the main question. And it looks like 100 Thieves will get three members out. But can they hold the line here as two inhibitors are already down and they're down two men? They're going to be able to push for the end off this because no one can get onto their carries and any fight is already so one-sided in their favor. And there's zero flashes available for 100 Thieves here. It's three members trying to clear it out. The bullet time comes in and there's the curse of the sad mummy locking up Quid. And they're going to be able to get that kill already. Tomo getting chugged down by Jensen. But Sniper's back, and Dignitas aren't sure if they want to go for it or not just yet. Licorice pretty low, but they're getting healed up now by Isles. Hex Flash threatening there from Ayla, not going to be enough. But without Quid, they just don't have the gold. Ayla's trying to run. He will be able to get back to the fountain, but the minions are stacking up, and Sven is pushing forward. River jumps in, but he's taking so much damage from Jensen on the side. The last turret has fallen. Ayla goes forward. It's the last-ditch effort here for 100 Thieves, but they don't have the juice. They can't get through Dignitas. Kill after kill after kill. Go to Dig, and they take it slow. They take it steady, and then they erupt to life and take game number two. These were the best highlights from today's LCS matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.